If you are using the Gamma PlayStation 1 emulator on iPhone or iPad, you should probably go ahead and delete this right now because this is a trash emulator. And there's going to be a much better alternative which you should be using now in order to play PlayStation 1 games on your iOS device. So pretty much the biggest problem with Gamma is the fact that it contains ads. And this is probably terrible considering the fact that PlayStation 1 emulation is all based on open source tools. And so every few minutes you're going to be met with these ads which are going to interrupt your gameplay. And the not only does Gamma display ads within the emulator, it also tracks personal data like geographic information and data that could be linked to your identity. Now pretty much the main reason that Gamma has managed to get away with this is the fact that it is basically the very first PlayStation 1 emulator that is officially available on the Apple iPhone and iPad app store. So pretty much anyone can go ahead and download this, there's no side loading required. It is very easy to access this emulator. However, now that the dust has started to settle, there are alternative emulators which a do not have ads and do not invasively track any personal information and also contain way more features as well. So the emulator I'm talking about of course is RetroArch which not only supports PlayStation 1 but a ton of other retro systems as well and the PlayStation 1 emulation for example is Leagues Beyond Gamma. For example here we're running the game Tomb Raider 1 on the original settings. Notice how bad the graphics look with the resolution scaling set to 1x and here we're now running at 16x resolution so 16 times the original PlayStation 1 resolution. We've applied applied widescreen hacks and it has fixes for PlayStation 1 jittery graphics as well. Now RetroArch for iPhone and iPad can appear quite daunting. However, the work involved is well worth it. If you want to follow a really easy to use tutorial, then what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for my iPad and iPhone RetroArch tutorials, which show you how to get the best PlayStation 1 emulation through RetroArch. And not only that, you can run plenty of other retro systems through RetroArch as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.